This tutorial is about getting data out from Google Analytics using AWS AppFlow and then putting that data in S3, AWS S3. So it's going to be like this, just this first portion of this part here, of this whole thing here. So just this part and then it will dump the data in a JSON format, which we will then deal with later. So basically, we have this data that is built up, built up in our view here in Google Analytics, and we want to just export this. This is just um, some user data that's coming into my website here, my personal wordpress.com website, just a little quick website that I made. Then this is app flow here. This is the flow that I set up before and don't I'm just going to go through setting up all these things completely from scratch from the very beginning. So we set up this flow, you can just um, run the flow and then it will produce data. It will produce this um, little thing here, which is a file, a JSON file. And that's inside in S3 inside an, a bucket here. A bucket has a folder. This folder has this JSON file. So I'm just going to go through making all of these things. So to begin with, uh, that's just the same screen. So let me just come out of this. So the first thing is if you just open AppFlow, let's just duplicate this screen. Go to AppFlow and see what we have. Then you just go and create one of these things what you find is it looks pretty simple to begin with so i'll call this app flow uh, test three then it says all these things you can just go next here and then you can choose your app flow your source name which will be google analytics and then it says create a new connection. So these connections here, that's one that I made to test with. So I'm just going to go like this. And then you need all of these things like the ID here and then the secrets. And then to create that, then you have to go into your Google Analytics, Google Analytics dashboard. I'll just move this over here. So, you know, search Google. Uh, console actually console go to Google console and this one is the one here so I go into here and you have to make a new project you create a new project here um, now you come in here and create a new project so that was just landing page then come into here and then new project here so just click this new project then i'm going to call this on google analytics uh, what? google analytics Test, test with a T E E T triple S T teased, tease. I'm going to call it that. Then I'll create that. Then that creates all these things with the triple E. And close this, and then it's done. So with this new project, then what I need to do is come in here and go into the libraries. Just enable a few of these APIs. So Google Analytics, Google Analytics API here. Then that is, yeah, I have to enable this one. Uh, this one's enabled already. Oops, ah, see, I'm in the wrong, um, you have to make sure that you're in the right project. You've created it, but then you go into the project that you were in before. So I have to make sure I switch to this new project and then I'll see, and then I'll go and search for this um, 
this API and then I'll see that it's not enabled for this one here and then after I'll go back and search for the other one uh, just go back here and then go to the library again Google and uh, Analytics. <clears throat> search for the report one. Enable that one. And then I have to just um create credentials here. So credentials is an analytics reporting one. Uh, actually, no. I I just have to come in here and create this thing here, not that one. Just do the OAuth one, and then <clears throat> do the external one here, and then create here. Then give the app a name. Uh, app. Flow T S T. Then email. I'll put in my email. And all of these things, I just uh, leave it. But needs an email here as well. The same email. And then I'll save this. Then. I will have to put in some scopes here, and there's a good page here that tells you about this kind of stuff here. It does all these things, and the scope that I need here is one called Auth Analytics Read Only. So there's a few other things that I need from that page as well, and I'll drop that web page into the bottom of this video. So the first thing here is really to add some add a scope, and this is a scope thing that comes out here, and you go, you can scroll along here. And you can choose different ones here. And another one that I want is somewhere near the end. Not quite the end here. This one here, OAuth Analytics Read Only. So I'll check that box. Then I will click Update. And then it'll appear in here. And then I go to Save. Then I have to add a user, add a test user. As I'll just add myself. Oops. Con Tatan at Gmail dot com. And that's added. That's in there. Save and continue. Choose credentials. Okay, so it's uh, probably here then. Choose credentials and then OAuth credentials. OAuth credentials here. Okay. Ah, so that was it here. And then, so we'll just use this name. And uh, that was T E E S T T 3. Oh, so it's in credentials. I had to. It looked similar, but it's actually a different screen. So add a URL here. So this bit is where I go into here, and then I copy this thing here. And I think it doesn't take the forward slash. Yes, yeah, doesn't like the forward slash. Then that's this bit here, and then I need this part here. Mm -mm. Up to OAuth here and OAuth, add that into here. So I get the region from um, the region of my S, my AWS. So if I just looked at the AWS region thing, then I would see. So I am using the Ireland one which is EU West 1, EU-West-1. 
So I will change this here to EU dash West dash one. And then that's okay. Create that. And then these things, these are things that I need to copy. Let's copy that into a little workbook here. And then that's my user, user client ID. And then my client secret is this one here. I can just copy that. Then OK that. Now, if I come back to App Flow and because so in AWS S3, what I have is a bucket with the triple E test here, app, th app flow test with triple E. And then over here in um, app flow, I'm going to create a new flow. So let's just um, do this like this. And then I'm going to call this app flow test five just uh, uh, like this then I'm going to go next here and create a source the source is Google Analytics Google Analytics and then create a new connection and using these IDs that I had before One ID here, and then the secrets, put that in here, create a connection name, con test five, and then use my Gmail account, continue here, and allow, then what happens here is I have to choose an object, which is reports, and then choose the view that I had in that Google Analytics. Then choose destination, which is going to be S3. Then choose some fields. Now choose a bucket, actually. So choose that bucket that was triple E in there. And it will just have this name here additional settings here aggregate all the records so then you can add metrics as well as dimensions as well then go to next and in next here choose the fields so the fields that I'm going to choose are going to be date first let's choose date date I'll choose this one with all the hours and minutes as well included in the dates. Then what else do I want? I want something like device. So the kind of device that people are using. Uh, device category. That's the one, this one here. Then I will have a web page. It's a there's something called page page view page view page path Is it path this one here page path then so I've got device category date and time device path what else do I want? So I'll have a metric in here called the page view. Page view. 
I think that's page views, that's the metric there. So I've got three dimensions and one metric here. So then I'm going to just click next here. No, first I have to do the mapping, just map fields directly. Then I will do next. Then add filters, don't want any. Then just go down here I think this doesn't really require anything here like this so then that's created the flow now I just want to test out the flow by running the flow here so that hopefully will be okay so it should just take a few minutes few seconds or minutes in the meantime, let's have a look at S3. What's happened here? It's created this folder that wasn't here before, and it's created this file now. So now if I come in here, I see, okay, it's finished running. So what does this file look like? I'll just go down here and then download it. So it's um, 2C9. file ending 2c9 let's open this with sublime text and you'll see this is the the JSON file that we will use to we will take into snowflake and we will consume this by sort of flattening out these and we'll do all of that inside Snowflake. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.